I want to see something terrible. Comes right up. You know, when I told my dad about this old abandoned car I wanted to restore, he told me, you're in for a lot more work than you think you are. You know, it's funny. No matter how smart you are, your dad always seems to turn out to be smarter than you are. I got a car. <laughs> I'm going to put it on my daily driver list. It just needs a little work. You know, this car, literally, came from a graveyard. It was at a cemetery, locked in a garage at that cemetery. I'm going to assume it's just been left for dead. That's the time the oil was changed in this sucker, but... Guessing the last time it had that uh, sticker on it. 1981, what is that? 19 and 14? That's about 30 something years of In neglect. You know, every day I try to outthink this thing. One of the plans was to uh, see if I could get this one running again. And the other plan was to buy a 400 and get that hood with, oh man, get that hood with the hood scoops and put a new transmission in. Oh man. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna have to rethink what's going on. Hey, that's a solid chunk of something right there. So until now, I thought the biggest problem was uh, buying a new wiring harness because all the wires were sold. They were just cracking every time you bent them. You know what? I think this engine will pull through. The chain. Hmm. Time to check out the other side. You know, this side. <laughs> the valve cover comes out looking like this. Yeah, at least it moves in a clump.